Hi guys, um, today I have a Zoom H1 mic. I, it, it, it arrived dead, it wouldn't turn on at all. And what I found was the battery terminals were very, very corroded. And so much so that one of them is absolutely blackened all the way through. And um, other than that, there was not much other damage. So what I'm going to do today is take this apart, take the battery terminals off of the board and replace them and um, get this back in working order to send back to the customer. Uh, another thing that I've done in the meantime is I've given it a good clean. I might be able to fish up some photos of what it was like beforehand, but um, yeah, let's get started. So I ordered the parts from uh, DigiKey. And I was very surprised to see this huge box because the parts are really only only this big. And um, let's see if I can fix this camera. There we go. And when I opened the box, I, I stopped and went, okay, I've got to do this on camera. Because look at this. Look at this huge packaging here. I mean, you can't complain about its packaging here, can we? I've never seen anything packaged like this. It's, I, I love it. It's unreal. And it's all paper, so biodegradable. Let's take that off to the side there. And here's the parts. I ordered a couple of spares just in case I need them again. So how cool is that? So today we will need... Okay. I can't seem to get this open, of course. Always when filming. All right, we will need one of these. One. And one of these little lollipops. And then one of these ones. There we go. Alrighty, so let's take this thing apart. So first of all, we're going to remove the SD card. Put that somewhere safe. And then let's get to work. Yeah, I've got here a Phillips. It's a number one, I think. It only has four screws that hold it together. And from memory, when I took it apart last time, all the buttons down the side disconnected. So getting it back together is a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. So four screws. And it just pulls out. There we go. And then you got to be careful when you pull it apart because there's this ribbon cable connecting both of the pieces together. And if you use too much force, of course, you could damage the ribbon cable. So I'm just going to undo this here and pull that out. Yeehaw, that's the front off. You can see it, look, it looks pretty good in there. I didn't see any signs of corrosion Nothing to worry about. Now we're going to take this board off and there was a couple of screws up the top here. Two screws. I think that was all of them. All right. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the um, that's the little rocker for the mic switch. And then we got these ones over here too. Uh, volume and the power switch, they also just pop out. I'm just going to take this whole assembly out as one so I don't have to unplug much. Put the casing off to the side. And I'll turn it over and I'll show you the battery terminals. Alright, let's see how good you can see here. 
So this is this one here is the the very very poor one. He got he got very black. He's black all the way through to the other side. Um, I did reflow the solder, so I got it working again. And I cleaned off all the corrosion using um, first I used some vinegar, and that was really cool because the vinegar reacts with the alkaline acid from the batteries, and it makes bubbles. And then I cleaned that off with isopropyl alcohol. And to get this working again, I had to actually file back the outer coating so that I could see silver again. So, um, yeah, I, and I got it working, but there's no way I'd send that back to the customer on such a dodgy job. So I had to order the new parts. You can see there just, just how bad it is. And here's, here's a new one. So that's what we're going to change today. And I'm going to have to bend, bend this one to fit the same shape as well. So that should be fun. Alrighty. And then over here is this, this one there, which should just pop out. Now I haven't tried this yet, but Oh yeah, I see. There's a tiny little, like a latch it has to come around. And we just pop it through. Oh, there it goes. There he is. There's the old one. And I'm going to just see if I can just put the new one straight in right now. Push it past that lock. Let's have a look. There we go. Alrighty, so that that one's done. Now for the fun stuff. I just bring my helping hand over to hold the thing in place so I can hold the circuit board and pull at the pull at the rings at the back at the same time. Alrighty, one there. There we go. Put some flux on, makes the solder flow a bit easier. And I'm just going to grab the ring from underneath with my tweezers. And as I heat this up, I'm just going to gently see if it might just. There we go. Got him out. And same for the other side. There we go. Excellent. Oh, I'm still sniffing guys. I'm feeling a lot better now. So I'm on the up with this cold flu thing. I'm just going to remove some of the excess solder there. In preparation so that we can put the new terminals in. And when I'm using this wick, I'm not moving the wick around. I'm not like scrubbing the board with it. I just try and keep it in one place so that I don't tear any of the other components off or the pads. All right, excellent. Let's get my trusty isopropyl alcohol. Mm. 
and just clear him in, clean him up. Alrighty, pop that over to the side. So now what we've got to do is try and match this shape here as best we can. I wonder what kind of pliers I have here to help me with this. I really need two sets of pliers, but I've only got one. Just trying to think what's the best way to bend it. Like I could have it this way and then it could bend that way and then down again. Or I could start it here and just go straight down. I think that's what I'll do. Alrighty. I think that one's going to be good. And I just want to trim it off to the right length as well. Alright, there's that one. And now we have to do the same for this one here. Bring back our trusty board holder. Alrighty, let's try that. Bit of flux. Bit of solder on the iron. Clean it off, solder on the iron, make a heat bridge between the pad and the component. And there. Alrighty, so it's not quite in the right position. Let's see what we can do about just readjusting that quickly. And there we go, we got one on. All right, now for the second one, same dealio, bit of flux, solder on the iron, clean the iron. A little bit more on there. There we go. Excellent. Got some new terminals on there now. Sweet as. And I'm not sure if the positioning is correct, so we have to test fit. Hopefully all is good. Just uh, test fitting by popping the board back in place.
All right, that looks like it's going to fit nicely in the battery terminals. Excellent. All righty. All right, so let's pull that out again. Let's put it all back together. Well, let's clean it up first and then put it back together. Always, always, always clean up when you're finished because the flux the flux may um, corrode the board as well. Um, I know some flux says it's no clean and you don't have to worry about it, but I like to clean it up anyway. Alrighty. Okay, back in back in here. So first of all, the speakers go at the top. And rest on those standoffs, and then we put the battery terminals through here. And what have we got missing? So we've got the volume knob rocker that has to go in there. There we go. And then we have this one, which is for the mic gain. And that has to go in this way. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little switch in there that this rocker knob has to line up with. If you don't line it up, you can cause damage to the switches. Everything is in place. Okay. Now there was two screws at the top, here and there. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. When you are disassembling something, always put your screws down in a pattern or label them if you need to, so that you can put the same screw back where you found it. I've just stopped and stopped screwing in there because the cable is underneath it, underneath the post. There we go. Yeah, because sometimes the screws, I'm not in this device, but in other devices, sometimes the screws can be different lengths and if you put the wrong screw in the wrong hole you can cause really quite bad damage all right now for this tricky ribbon cable I'll try and make sure this is this is unlocked so we can insert the ribbon cable back in Nice and flat. There we go, so it's all the way in. And then I'm going to lock it in place, push those tabs back in. Good. So that's now attached. Alrighty. This is actually a really cool little device. I did a quick test on it after I got it working again. 
and it can do sort of uh, almost surround sound like it knows it has the four mics at the top and you can set it up so that um, it can differentiate between what's left and what's right of the microphones so it's pretty good you can get some um, really good idea about distance how far things are away the same as your own ears work sort of thing if you're wearing headphones with this thing all right let's get some batteries in here and see if it still turns on all righty one two okay so on moment of truth beautiful and there we go put that memory card back in yeah so there we go there that's how it looks like when you open it up and you, you start recording you might play a track let's have a look that's the last thing I recorded there you can't hear it because it doesn't have a speaker you need headphones to hear it and it pops onto the computer and plays some pretty cool things alrighty all done so that's it uh, we've sold it on new battery connectors we gave it a good clean Yeehaw! Alright, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!